Hey guys, welcome to OP Destroys pre-Christmas Eve stream, guys, of the Boom Beach. Welcome, guys. It's more Boom Beach low-level 48 gameplay coming to this channel, guys. So thank you so much. Anybody, anybody out there gonna join me? I got some uh, music playing in the background that's supposedly copyright, so hopefully copyright-free. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Leo Coach, welcome, my good friend. If you can see the splotches in the back on my screen here, and on my sleeve or on my shirt, that is the sunlight, guys, pouring in, so I can't really do much about keying that out because it's, like, super-duper bright. Um, yeah, you guys, what's going on? Jelly Cell, what's up? Merry Christmas to you, my good friends. Everybody, Alex Munoz, what's going on, guys? Sorry I'm a little late here. I uh, had to, like, uh, do it, made that thumbnail. I had to really, like, key out and make those uh, images transparent. So it took a little bit of time, but I'm here for you guys. Definitely here for you guys. So thank you so much. Leo, what's going on? Uh, Beach Alex. <laughs> Sebastian Sala, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, guys, today we are going in. Um, now, Ribbon Cable's left. Uh, guys, we're playing Choke Point in the Senior Baboons, guys. Check this out. Look at this. It's absolutely bonkers, okay? We have 11 attacks remaining, and we just have easy ribbon cable to finish, guys. It's that silly. Is it that silly or what? <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, David Boyd. Uh, yes, Merry Christmas Eve. Hope you have a good day today. I watched the video later. Also, good luck with the bases, OP. Absolutely. Thank you, David Boyd. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Yeah, we rock, Leo. I tell you what, man. I mean... I feel like showing all the attacks, guys, because look at this. Red Baron and his second account are starting us off, guys. Let's do it. Going Red Baron is an amazing player, guys. A part of the Angry Family. Um, he also hosts uh, or puts on a the Red Donut Show. So check it out. It's a podcast. Look up the Red Donut Show, guys. It's a blast. It's amazing. Um, Leo Coach was actually on there as well. So let's do it, guys. So going into Complex, Red Baron, guys, is with a 252% uh, GBE boost and 101% troop damage guys I have my iPad like if you you can't see it but it's actually I have it on my uh, it's actually right in my face now you can see where I'm actually tapping right here it's that close um, and uh, it's amazing I just got it through Amazon it came and it's a great little little nugget of uh, of, uh, tech, of, of tech gear guys I tell you what it makes life so much easier so look at this Red Baron again the Smokey Zuka Pro that I know um, look at this guy makes I mean I, I would never flare all the way to the top because I'd be afraid that they'd be splitting up everywhere in between but look at this guys now he's going to obviously reflare because uh, the Zookas need to catch up to um, Miss Brick who is a super duper fast one so right here guys going between the mines look at this I mean throwing artillery shells going crazy oh watch out for Miss Brick uh, she's running way ahead of the game here but uh Free smoking. Look at this, guys. This is just absolutely beautiful. Red Baron going crazy, guys. Willy Wonka, welcome to the stream. A for real bazaar for what's going on, guys. What is going on? Check this out, guys. Right, look at this solo. A couple Zookas did peak, but he was able to actually knock out complex, guys. And uh, I mean, it's amazing. Look at this. The Zookas are glowing with a pixie dust of Brick's battle orders and down goes complex guys a solo the first to lead off in the task force guys if you're looking at that right back there that white that's all sunlight blaring through my window um, didn't have time to get something to actually like uh, like like cover it up wanted to get the stream going guys just wanted to get the stream going and uh, hold on my bad if you were hearing action echo that's because I have my speaker on so I do apologize guys <laughs> uh Yes, your soccer life. I know, uh, Alex. I know. Okay, so this is Red Baron's second account, you guys. And uh, let me put a little bit more light on me. Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, again, he's going with all Zookas and battle orders here. This is Red Baron's second account. So, uh, taking out Sliding Block. This is going to be something to see here. Because he does solo this base. And absolutely just a crazy, <laughs> crazy attack, you guys. Um... Going in with all Zookas. Clearing a lot of power cells here. Looking at this. Watch this attack, guys. Red Baron's second account. 
going crazy. Throwing a cryo bomb for the mines, absolutely. Those cryo bombs are amazing. Now, obviously, he scouted and made sure he was out of rocket launcher territory. And then he's going to go flare up all the way to the right here. Now, I'm assuming he's going to be taking out that rocket and then flaring into the uh, other rockets and shock launchers. But he's going he's gonna to be able to shock them just like that and uh, take out that rocket. Now, he's obviously not wasting. It doesn't matter about the shocks because he's going to get a bunch more GBE once he clears this mess. Look at this, guys. This is absolutely crazy. Now, the, the, the shock launcher did get a little chunk of his Zookas. But other than that, it's free GBE zone here right here, guys. And uh, doing some work here. Clearing all the shield generators like a pro as he is. And yeah, it's awesome, guys. Yeah, 1300. I'm so super pumped, guys. Thank you so much. Um, it's amazing. I'm super pumped. And if you guys, if we get any subscriptions and you make your subscriptions pri uh, public, you'll, there'll be a little guy guitar dancing in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen uh, when you stub. So uh, you got to make your subscriptions public, though, if you want to see that. Um, but anyways, look at this guy's blasting through. He figures out he has enough GBE now to take it. Well, obviously time's running out too, so he needs to. But look at this, getting his Zookas, the little amount of Zookas he has left, get to that rendezvous point, and we all know that he finishes this. And it's just a matter about of shocking the rockets, which is one shock and some machine guns, and it's GG, guys. Look at this, blasting down, sliding block, in an all Zooka. Solo guys, so gosh, kudos to Red Baron. Thank you so much for your contribution to the senior baboons, guys. Moving down, little rascal going against distortion, guys. Now, what's nice about this is, guys, we showcase the angry baboons a lot. As a matter of fact, Leo just opened up to 25 man. Now, obviously, um, we're looking for the angry family uh, members coming in, and um, yeah, so Leo can kind of maybe coach you more on that one. But uh, look at this. Girls are glowing under the smoke, guys. What a treat to see. So Little Rascal going in. Look at, uh, kind of thought off a battle orders would kind of get them to move their little tushes a little bit quicker. And uh, we're going to see that Little Rascal takes out Distortion quite beautifully here. Uh, we know we got to shock those shocks and rockets, those flamethrowers, and basically kind of let them kind of go to town on it. Um, there are rockets hitting a couple of his Zookas on the right side, but we all know that he does finish this and a uh, little rascal congratulations and awesome job gosh that sun's really blasting my green screen i know guys it's ugly it's absolutely ridiculous and i didn't take the time to um uh cover it up so it's my apologies on that one <laughs> um let's see Aiden, he's, you're growing a beard uh he must be uh must be beach boom beach santa no yeah guys no i'm you know, you know, it, it, it's something, it, you know, it's just a little bit. I'm not going crazy. I'm not going to have a beard hanging down to here like Beardaholic or anything like that. But, um, yeah, you guys, thank you so much. Remember, Red is not here to help us finish ops. He's here to chill and his, his yes, yes. So, guys, what's going on? What what our task force is compared uh, compared to the angry family who go all Zooka attacks is the fact that it's more of like a timeshare for the angry family. That if they're kind of feeling burnt out, burning a lot of power powder and so forth. That uh, you know they can kind of chill back in the angry baboons, baboons. So guys, again, uh, Wally going into low point. Guys, kind of going. And let's do two times. We can get, get rocking on this one. Um, going all scorchers and the bullet guys. Again, um, with you got to be careful with boom cannons and scorchers because they will annihilate them, especially when there's like seven of them. I think right there. Want to be careful, but he does a great job opening up with what he can, guys. Taking out the laser beam for sure. And clearing most of those or all of those boom cannons before they die. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then he attacks these rocket launchers. But there's just a bunch more boom cannons and a shock launcher. Um, but, again, an overall great opening attack here. Start something off. That's what it is, guys. It's no I in team. And so it's a great team work, guys. Eric Bruce, welcome to the stream. Merry Christmas to you guys. And for everybody coming in, again, the light you see on my, my, my shirt here. And in the back right over here. That is hitting my green screen like nothing before. The sun is set to go by this part of the window soon. So it's just a matter of, gosh, I'm getting really, really lit, not bright. Um, is the, it's the sun, guys. It's the sun blasting me, and I just didn't take the time to actually cover the green screen. So I do apologize on that. Uh, Krishna Kishore going into low point. Um, going at all Zookas I saw. Let me see. Um, yeah, all Zookas going in. <clears throat> 
seeing if we can get those rockets and the shock launchers cleared and uh, let's see what Krishna Krishore can do again I didn't watch any of these attacks guys so whatever you're seeing is what I'm seeing first and uh, we should definitely see it. So, I'm assuming he's probably going to do a bullet taunt or maybe not um, so good going in getting the rockets here it looks like um, and maybe that one right there would be beautiful we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll definitely see <laughs> couple more zookas Will he get the rocket? And he, oh man, almost gets the, oh, he gets the rocket. There is an artillery shell going in, guys. Man, that's really bugging me. That's sunlight. <laughs> oh, but it's okay, guys. Who cares? We're here for the gameplay, right? All right, Mudred. Mudred going into low point, guys. Going kind of like an almost RZCM kind of style here. Um, and uh, yeah, RZH, RZ, RZH, Rifleman, Zuka, uh, Heavy. Um, not a bad combination to run here, guys. You got the medics constantly healing the, uh, the, the the big supporting troops, which is good. Going for that shock launcher right off the bat. That is a good way to go. Reef flaring back. Spoken. Madrid going crazy over here. Um, trying to push his luck. If he could get rid of that boom cannon, maybe that would be good. Getting some rock, getting some clears on top of that. Um, but those mortars chew them up pretty quick. Um, I believe it's going to be a, maybe, if anything, a time issue here. Or perhaps the the, bo the boom cannons chewing through his uh, groups like uh, one every after the other. <laughs> but other than that, a great setup here. And um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a time issue. We'll go four times to see how that chews down, guys. Um, I unlock tanks. Yes, yeah, green fact, super pump for you, man. Awesome job. Awesome dude. Um, <clears throat> the green facts has joined off destroys live stream. Yes, thank you, green facts as always, man. I appreciate it. So Madrid going in here. His boom can the boom cannons are chewing away of Zookas, um, but a great all in out example of how the next player should go on low point. And down goes the last two Zookas, and pop goes the last Zooka, guys. Okay, so moving on to Kirk. Kirk going against Minotaur, guys. Minotaur, however you want to pronounce that, but we got to see. We obviously just look, if you guys look, there's just a rocket launcher that's in range up there. Not super duper bad. He actually might take out this one here, I'm I'm assuming. Maybe not. Um, yeah, it looks like he can take out this rocket, guys, just to kind of alleviate any... Well, actually, no. He's not going to take out that rocket. Again, I have been watching these videos, so, <laughs> you know, um, I don't know what's going on. But uh, we know that he goes up, and I'm assuming he's going to take out that rocket launcher. Yeah, he's flaring right next to it, right next door. And uh, we're going to see here, obviously, probably taking out this rocket. Oh, they're peeking. Oh, but uh, watch out for the mortars. Oh, they didn't get that rocket. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, he got the rocket, which was key to this. Um, and uh, pretty much... After that, it's just a, what, heavy Zooka, all Zooka to go up top there, clear the machine guns, move yourself way down um, to the flamethrowers, and uh, yeah, well, four times this, and um, yeah, so a little bit of a mishap on the flaring and the smoking, cost him his Zooka's his precious lives, <laughs> and yeah, that is gonna do it, guys. Hunt Bill, what's going on, Zooka Misfit, hello all, Merry Christmas, Sam I, Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Boom. Down it goes. So nice opening attack. A little bit a little bit unfortunate for him a little bit, but other than that, great. Little Bull 2 going in to finish off low point, guys. Again, we'll go two times on this one. And, yeah, good thing to get rid of those mortars, perhaps, and the boom cannon because they were low on HP. Might as well make it a little bit easier. Taking out that, make sure that mortar goes. <laughs> and uh, he's like, I want those other mortars to go, too. He's going to exhaust, it looks like almost, well, I guess he's out of a, out of GBE, guys. So, going in over here, and he's going to activate Brick. And, um, yeah, a couple mortars will pick off some of his girls. Um, and it's just a matter of, well, he has them shocked, which is fine. But uh, it looks like the couple girls will be picked off. I think Brick's going to be picked off, too. But I don't think any more, well, um, he's like, I got another shock. I'll shock him again. Um, we'll go four times and same finish this one off and down goes low point guys so low points usually a two-man uh, attack but again here again here we have lower level players here and that is totally okay because we are the crazy angry baboons <laughs> make me an officer going into ribbon cable guys checking him out here with the uh, zuka and the brick going in 
Going in from the left side here, this is kind of the way to go, but there are rockets in the center and on the right side of the uh, HQ. So probably would want to BART those things out um, before, but he's going to go over here and clear, hopefully, this left side. And uh, again, it's just a matter of one shock. We'll be able to, he'll be able to actually subdue all those defenses. He's going crazy here. Getting in the rocket launcher safe zone, but those on the right side did peak a little bit. And now it's just a matter of raining the HP off these rockets. They are stunned. They can't do anything. And uh, <laughs> um, yeah, all right. Did a great job clearing this part of the area. So great job. Make me an officer. Look at that. Shocking. Showing him who's boss. And then kind of going in. Kind of going in here. I wonder what he's going to do. Maybe send in a cryo bomb. No, he's actually going to try to go for those shield gens. It'll be something. We shall see here. Going in, guys. Like a champ. Taking out some shield gens. And you know what? Like I said, beautiful attack. A great contribution. Guys, there's no I in team. And that's how we do it here in the uh, <laughs> senior baboons. Especially when we have like, what, 12 attacks left, you guys? Awesome. Awesome. Big mole one. What's going on? Welcome. Guys, again... Again, the sun is seriously blasting my green screen right now. I really feel like I need to cover it right now. This is ridiculous. It's getting worse. I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, let me do this a little bit. It's a little bit more light. I know. I apologize, guys. I normally like to stream at night when there's no sunlight because I'm, the windows I have right here are funky. Like I got, they're like, they're like, they're like, they're just weird, and, and it's not difficult. There's no curtains on them, so they're very light see-through curtains, and it's seriously a pain to cover. I'm actually having, I have gaff tape right now, taping the, the window next to me, so my face isn't getting blown out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. All right, so Kinari uh, going in to Minotaur here, and we'll go four times because Zookas do run slow, and it is quite a run up top. So uh, we'll just kind of four times this. Going with the bullet, guys. The silver bullet, I call him. And there we go. I'm assuming a uh, taunt will be in his future. We will see. Yes, it is. And it gives the girls a nice time to kind of blast through. Um, and, yeah, a shock. There you go. Moving his Zookas in. Throwing some critters out. Throwing another taunt up, guys. And the Zookas are doing a decent job. Got the bullet. Now, there's no more bullets, so the Zookas are going to... What, what are you doing? <laughs> Zuko is running away. She was scared, guys. She was super duper scared. Um, let's see. What level do you get smokes at? What level do you get smokes at, guys? I don't recall. I'll be honest with you. A kamikaze spot, guys. I gotta show you this guy's base. This guy's base has like, it, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be so super duper excited to see this. But um, wait till you see his base when I'm done with this, guys. It's absolutely crazy. Um, getting the Zookas and the uh, bullet up to the top there. Being safe. Letting the bullet take up the lead. Reflaring so Azuka stay together. And doing some work here. Clearing down these defenses. Look at this. Blasting away. And it looks like, guys, we're going to get <laughs> Kamikaze Spock to finish his base. Guys, i got to show you this guy's base. It's seriously insane. Seriously insane. Milan Koprivica, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. What did you do to get 1.9 thousand? Wait. I have, I don't know. 1.9 thousand subs. Off has 1.3. He's slowly climbing. Um. Oh, yeah, Alex. I hope everything's okay, man. You got you got in a car accident, brother. I hope everything's okay, buddy. Um, soccer is life. That's Alex Munoz right there, guys. So Kamikaze Spock, I will show your base after this. Uh, all these attacks go in. Um, but this is uh, Alex Munoz, guys, going into Ribbon Cable with Warriors and the Bullet, guys. Going in two times. Let's do this. Let's see what Alex Munoz has up his sleeve here. Watch out for those shock launchers, my friend. <laughs> Again, I haven't seen any of these attacks, guys, till now. So it's as new as it is for you. Uh, throwing some cryos. Um, going in. And let's see what we got here. Oh, I see. He's going for the shield gens. Gonna need to shock those rockets and shock launchers, definitely. Um, and uh, there you go. Throwing a taunt up as well. Kind of getting his troops to go into these. Uh, nicely done so far. You Look at this, man. Are we going to get those shield gens, Alex? Are we going to get those shield gens? <laughs> uh, not quite, guys, it looks like. But a great all-in-all -all attack. Knowing that uh, 
needed to get those taken out and he did a great job so nice job alex super duper duper job my good friend um let's see here um you just made one stupid video green facts has 1.9 thousand subs nice job dude superior job man guys i know i know i need to lock myself up a little bit take away a little bit of the color my gosh i'm, I'm not blushing guys Seriously, I'm not blushing. I promise you that. Where is my camera? There we go. Change the color intensity down at hair. Not like super duper crazy with colors. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Gosh, that sun is just lethal, isn't it? It's just hitting my green screen, making me look like I'm I'm not I'm a noob setting this stuff up. Okay, so nice job, Alex. Going to Ephesians 4:29. Love that verse, man. Uh, let's go in to Ribbon Cable, guys. Going into Ribbon Cable well, four times because tanks are a tad slow, you guys. And even at four times, they're still kind of slow. <laughs> but let's see what Ephesians does here with Miss Everspark. With the, uh, with, I believe he likes, oh, Everspark got tagged by the boom cannons before he could shock him, which probably was a kind of a irritating moment for him. But again, tanks taking out the uh, boom cannons and the medics going overdrive and over time on these tanks um it looks like he's going to do some work here clear those shield gens would be one way to start it out but uh, those shock launchers are just lethal they continually show sh throw shocks guys and it's so detrimental it's like man it's like you can't even move you know you just can't even move all right guys Going through Ribbon Cable. We'll get to some attacks, guys. I promise. I know. I'm just kind of going through these attacks and showing you where we are in Senior Baboons. Um, again, run out of time there because the shock launchers were just really highly active. Good job, Ephesians. So, Puzzle is 66 going into Ribbon Cable, guys. Let's do this. We'll go in four times to get rocking. He's like, you know what? I thought that the shock launchers were doing some really dirty work to my, uh, my, my teammates' troops. But we're going to just knock those guys out and... Uh, <laughs> So he goes out compromising and sacrificing his awesome troops' lives to take out those shock launchers. Hopefully getting that rocket. Yes, great job. And almost getting the core down, you guys. Almost getting the core down. And boom. And then finally, oh, finally, Toadstool. GBE's out the uh, ribbon cable. We'll just four times that and show that. Why not? Let's throw some artillery and take it out. So, guys, I was going to actually attack on the op live. Then all of a sudden, um, they took it out. Easy money. So... <laughs> Let's go over here now and um, let's check it out. Daily reward, we're obviously taking that. Op reward, um, we'll take the gems just because gold is not an issue on this account for me. Um, we'll collect all that. Um, yeah, let's go, guys. Let's just go uh, trader, 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 trader. We can open up a trader crate. Why not? Go. <laughs> taking it all we got. My game name is Kirk, bro. Oh, there you go, Milan. That was you, my good friend. Nice attack, my good friend. Nice attack. My daughters, Faith and Hannah May, say hi. Well, hello, Faith and Hannah May. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, guys. Welcome. All right, guys. So let's do this. Um, all right. We're going to go Warriors, guys. We know the bullet taunt. Now, obviously, do I have any power powder? Only four, um, but I have some power stones coming. So what I'll do here is I'll just boost uh, my gunboat energy and my troop damage masterpiece. And we'll go with that, guys. We're going to go with just the two statue boosts today, and we'll move it. I love my iPad like right here. Guys, it's like mounted on my desk, and it's like in my face. It's seriously like right here, and I could raise it up, you guys, but, you know, let me see. Let me raise it up. Up here, there it is. I don't want to go too much, but yeah, it's just like seriously like right in my face now. So I don't need to look down so much anymore. I can just look right to the screen, which is super duper nice. Now, Hammerman is in town, guys. And um, obviously this account, we can try taking him on, but uh, we won't get past much. So let's jump into this level base. We'll just jump in. Why not? Let's just go in. Um, got only four watching right now. Okay, that's fine. It's okay because it is Christmas weekend. People are with their families. And um, I understand. So we're going to go over here, guys. Let out the bullet first. Obviously, when you're smoking warriors, let the bullet out first because uh, he'll get targeted first. 
and then it'll only require you to do one smoke pretty much right here one smoke on top of the boom cannon a couple warriors might be picked off and damaged but in this in the meantime they should be fine and you save some g that way and then you can always throw a med kit while they get onto the hq guys throw the taunt out and we know that that shock launcher is going to be subdued by the bullet taunt we're going to shock here and we'll just throw a bunch of med kits on the uh, warriors guys and um yeah down it goes guys now i had gbe to throw a cryo bomb but it was not necessary as we took the base down no problem um and going in guys getting the prototype my least favorite prototype of all of them and yeah so moving along guys up the archipelago here to sadek sadik sadek i don't know let's jump in guys what is this guy level 61 um and uh, yeah we'll be in the safe zone guys of that grappler because it's a nice little ring so it's not gonna be a big deal but we'll use a cryo bomb to get rid of some of these mines here again the cryo bomb is a mine killer guys Mind killer. Now, because the grappler's there, guys, I wouldn't mind if he grabbed the bullet right away because he's going to bring it right by the HQ anyways. So we'll just do that, and uh, we'll let our troops go. Yeah, there he goes. And the other troops are actually focusing on him right now, but I'm going to actually do this. We'll flare the HQ right now. Look at the bullet. He's super-duper low on health, guys. Um, and I'm going to get a taunt out of him, and he's going to probably die quick. But we're going to go like this and like this and uh, throw some med kits. He's gone. He's gone, guys, but I think our warriors have enough in them to actually do this. I'm thinking, okay, and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I probably should have pre-smoked a little bit better um, and kind of saved and preserved bullet. I, again, I forgot, I keep forgetting he's a level one and um, and he died quickly. Again, losing 31 warriors because of my neglect. And <laughs> so we're just gonna keep going. And next time I see a grappler, I'm gonna just, a little bit more smoke to, to save his life a little bit longer. Going into level 51, guys. Why not? Let's do it. Hey, awesome. What's going on? Merry Christmas and cheers. Thank you so much. I got eggnog and rum. Okay. Well, guys, I'll be honest with you. I did say in my, my, my title, I drink some eggnog. I don't know. I never tried eggnog before. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, I just said that because I thought it'd be kind of... Um, so, guys, base here. Let's see. Not too bad. We're going to actually throw a... Cryo bomb right over here, and I don't see a uh, I don't see a grappler, so we'll let him go. I'm actually gonna flare this machine gun and then finally let the warriors out, guys. Now look again, you save smoke here by letting the troops kind of wait there, and then we're gonna smoke right there on the troops. Look at that, not super bad at all, right? Then we're gonna finally flare to the HQ. Want to keep doing this, and there, there we go. Warriors will get there nice and snug. Hit with that one mine, but it's okay. Activate the taunt and make sure you shock the shocks. Don't want the bullet getting taunt uh, shocked, so we'll do that and that, and we'll throw some med kits on the warriors, and it should be fine and dandy, guys. Taking down this level 51 like like candy from a baby. <laughs> uh, come on, crystal. I want a crystal, please. Give me a crystal. Something, something along those lines. And we lost two warriors there. Not super bad. Let me get my supply chest. Obviously, take the power stones, guys. Always take the power stones. Whatever you get out of this video, whatever you get out of this stream, take the power stones because, you know, resources are easy to get. <laughs> Going into this level 53, guys, kind of speed through running. Look at this guy's just really flaunting the green statues. I mean, he's really trying to save up and upgrade his stuff. So, all right. So, I think we can avoid some of these mines if we kind of take the scenic route. So, we'll do that. We'll let the bullet out here, and uh, we'll flare over to this flamethrower. And then we'll let all the warriors out as well. And let them kind of get over there and gather up. Again, guys, you can see that I'm not wasting any smoke, but there's not as much troops actually getting tagged right now. <laughs> then we're going to line up and go to this machine gun over here, just so it's nice and lined up with the HQ. Let them kind of get there to sit. And then finally, we got around those mines just fine, and we'll go smoke, smoke, and smoke. I lit a little bit extra smoke, guys, being a little bit more cautious, just because we'll throw the taunt up, guys. And the shock launchers are together, so they can be definitely easily shocked together. We'll do that, and we'll throw a cryo bomb way out over here. The med kit, med kit. I did lose a warrior there because I didn't med kit, and that mortar actually was not in the taunt. 
So down it goes, guys, just like that. I am sorry I'm not looking at you guys' video, my, your comments. I do apologize. Let's see. Let's take a gander here. Well, uh, I'm going to go to my parents' house on a bike, of course, but I'll be uh, in tune once again I get there. Thanks, Alex, for coming out. I might be off, guys, because we got to leave soon to go to my, my mom's house in a few – well, actually in an hour or two. So I, I, I got to get ready as well, so I won't be streaming super duper long today. I do apologize. <laughs> uh, I don't want to wait till Monday for Christmas. I know, green facts. Um Let's see. There are two spots open up in seniors, guys. If you're 50 plus and have 400 victory points, jump in. Two just moved to Angry Baboons. So, guys, Leo Coach just said it, guys. If you want to join the Senior Baboons, look at this right here. I'm going to show you right now. We need two people. If you are meeting those requirements, you're 50 plus and you have at least 400 victory points, please come in and join. By the way, I was going to show you Kami Kamikaze Spock's base, guys. Check this out. He has 970 victory points, guys. 970 at four, level 48. Look at this guy's base. <laughs> All he has is five sniper towers. Now, he's the only reason why he has five sniper towers. No, six. I'm sorry. Six. Is because he wants to upgrade his HQ to get his last landing craft. But look at this. He has no defenses on his base, guys, but those sniper towers. Only because he needs them to upgrade and get a new experience level. But look at this, guys. I mean... <laughs> 970 victory points, a level 48, and he is launching only six, six sniper towers, guys. Come on, give it up for Kamikaze. <laughs> Trusty Commanders, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Happy, merry Christmas, Christmas, guys. Tomorrow is, tomorrow is Christmas, guys. Can you believe that? Already 2017, already here. Then next week, it's going to be a new year's, guys. A new year. Oh, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm thinking. It's a great time, guys. It's a great time. And Silver 21 back. Silver 21 back is up to bat. Okay, we're going to throw a um, a cryobomb here. And then since it's now it's a little bit more expensive, we'll critter those boom mines. I, I forgot I don't have that many critters, guys. So we'll do what we can. I probably should have threw a, a cryobomb there. Um, and we'll just deal with it. We'll deal with it. We'll go, um, we'll go, we'll flare here at the boom cannons, tag him, and we'll go like this. We'll throw one smoke over here, and again, you will lose a couple of your warriors, guys, but it's okay, because you know, the other ones will get it. We'll lose a few more here as they run over these boom mines, but it's okay. It's definitely okay. We'll lay a taunt out, and we know to shock the shocks. We'll throw a cryo bomb over here. Right. We'll just whatever. That's fine. Med kits, med kits galore. And guys, bullet taunt warriors are just OP at this level, and even at max capacity level, guys. When you're maxed, it's seriously awesome. So all you lower levels, level 48s, level 47s. Um, that have the bullet and his taunt. The taunt's the actual first ability through bullet. Guys, that is the sunlight right here. The shadow of my hand. I might as well just not have a, a green screen, right? Would you want to just see the background of my house? I don't care. But, yeah, it that's the sunlight, guys, just kind of making its way. It got actually worse. Uh, I thought it was going to actually go by and not be so bad. So, But, uh, unfortunately, again, this is why I don't like normally streaming in the, the daytime because... I got a fixtures up over here to cover the sunlight. Uh, there is a grappler on this one. Got to be very mindful. Uh, let's throw two uh, cryo bombs here. Look at that. Just does some mind work. Now, right here, what we're going to do here is flare here. Throw critters so the grappler takes care of the critters first. And then we'll go warriors here, guys. Um, I will start smoking because the critters are gone. Now, our warriors are kind of getting beat up. It's okay. They're safe. We gotta save some G guys because if we don't, we will not make it to HQ. We're gonna go like that. Okay, with well, 31 GBE left, guys. That shock launcher will not be active in this attack, so we don't want to shock him. We'll shock the, the grappler and um, we'll shock that shock blaster because he's actually going for my warriors because he's not in the taunt. And look at this, guys. I mean, it is something out of this world. Out of this world. Thank you, Peanut 1680, for that. Um, I love your Christmas tree over there with your statues, man. Really pretty awesome. 
And down it goes, guys, just like that. Johnny Ray. Johnny Bravo Zula. We got two Johnnies in here, guys, right now. Thank you so much. DJ UK, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, my good friend. Thank you so much. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to you, Johnny Ray. You check out my base again and co commanders, please. Just, you yeah, absolutely, absolutely crusty. Just let me finish, clear my base, and then I'll do that for you, my buddy. Up, don't worry about the sun and shade. Just keep on going, my friend. You look great under the sun in the. <laughs> <laughs> Leo coach guys. I just want you to know. I wish I could show you I could show you but it's just I got this like my microphone here Look at this right here. See this right here. See that. Okay. See that see that you can't really hear me But it's on a a, a little like a little crane That's actually vice grips my desk and now I got this I just came in the Amazon Amazon Prime Just delivered this to me. I ordered it the other day and it's the same kind of thing. It's a vice grip arm that kind of extends to where you want it. I can actually turn the iPad this way. You guys can see right now, right there. And I can turn it back this way. And, it, and it's just right in my face now. So I'm actually like this now, guys, as, as opposed to looking down or looking far away. It's super duper awesome. Leo, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. I might have to get Leo one of these. <laughs> um, also, too, guys, again, I got last stream on my Friday night stream. I gave away five awesome subscribers or five people in the chats uh, to get uh, Boom Beach socks, guys. So those will be coming. Just hold on to your your, your shorts. Um, uh, what's up? Noisy boy, what's going on, man? It's been a while since I've seen you in my stream, but welcome to the stream, my good friend. Merry Christmas to you, my little buddy. My little buddy, Noisy boy. All right, guys, going over here. Um, again, Cryobomb will take care of these mines right here. And um, absolutely, we're good to go. Let uh, this character out, and we'll flare to the machine gun, guys. I don't really recommend flaring onto those buildings right there, that sawmill or whatever. It's just it's too big. It's just too big. So again, guys, letting a bullet take all the damage while my warriors kind of just relaxed and get nice and safe to the machine gun. We're going to flare up over to this right over here, this little residence. We're going to smoke, 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 and smoke. We're going to lay the red carpet or the gray carpet down for the warriors here as they make their merry way to the HQ. Go over here, throw the taunt up, and we're going to start shock treatment on the shock launchers and shock blasters. Throw a med kit on the uh, warriors here because they are kind of losing a little bit of health. But in the in the, in the the end of the story, this base does go down, guys, just like that. Up, you shouldn't start smoking just because you lost critters. It's bad for your lungs. I know, man. I know. I don't smoke, guys, but I do secondhand smoke. I do say that with, you know, with with respect to those who smoke. I'm not, if you want to smoke, that's fine. Absolutely. But when somebody asks me, do you smoke? No, but I secondhand smoke. Um, that's a true fact. <laughs> uh, but thank you, Green Facts, for that, my good friend. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I seen the shadow of Santa's sleigh race into the California sky. I know. Speaking of that, guys, my wife, uh, just the other night, just the other night before I went streaming, um, the, uh, the Vandenberg base over here in Southern California set off a, um, um, a, a central California, whatever you want to call it, but it's California, um, set off a rocket guys to send out like 10 satellites to space and my wife caught it on her phone. It's one of the, where they leave those really like glowy trails. Um, everybody was freaking out thinking it was like a, like a bomb from North Korea or something coming over. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but no, it was a rocket. Yeah, we, everybody thought it was an alien too. Uh, but uh, yeah, my wife, I'll, I'll show that guys when I get the video. I actually have it. I could have probably showed it on the stream. But uh, yeah, it was pretty a sight to see. I'll tell you that much. Um, I'm sensing all troop health and damage in GB tribes around the corner. Oh yeah, that's right guys. Today is tribal reset time. Let me see. When are we going? When, when are we resetting? I forgot. One hour and 24 minutes. I don't know if I'll be on that long guys. Um, but in one hour, 24 minutes, I'm super hoping that the Power Stone chance over here, um, well, it's actually 75% max, but I hope that one stays. And it would be nice to see the Warrior boost again. I love the Warriors, guys. Attacking with Warriors is so, so fluid. Leo, um, Leo on his live stream attacked with Warriors in the Taunt today. I love Leo. The trail was seen from here, uh, was seen from here to Phoenix. Wow. Yeah, guys, obviously... You know, it's not just the skies of Southern California where you see that. It's super high in the air, and uh, it can be seen, I'm sure, from many, many, many miles away. 
Uh, Musa Sadiq, I'm sensing all trip. Yes, um, I'm super. I'm super hoping, guys. I'm super hoping. Um, I own all 42% of my resource bases, but I'm in a fight with people with a five or six. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's always gonna be a fight, Krusty. Always. Uh, Mr. Noisy Boy. Anyone have tribe resets yet? I believe all the tribes reset at the same time, but again, it, you know, I have uh, on this account. I have um, uh, the 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 uh, New Zealand time, so it doesn't affect that guys at all. So just letting you know, you could be all the way across the world, and it'll still be the same. Okay, so where are we going? I will go into the Hammerman guys, but I'm not gonna do much because I have no ice on this account, and I I don't think I have any prototypes right now. But again, I'm so low level, it's not gonna do much. So. I'm sad to say that Hammerman guys, low levels can get usually past stage one, two, and three, um, unless you're really just really good at organizing your base. Obviously, my base is not um, like uh, you know great setup. Um, I did create a new base setup, guys, in my main level account. Um, if you're in the Angry Baboons, you want to go check it out. I think it'll hold up well. I've been getting raided a lot, guys, and you know it's just. I want to try to see if I can, if I, without having all this ice out, if I can gain a little bit higher in the uh, victory points. Because I notice I've been at a stale 1140 average, and I'd like to climb a little higher. Um, and we'll see if we can ward off any potential players. I did boost my my ice masterpiece uh, the other day for eight hours just to see what kind of, you know, see what would would kind of work out there. And um, yeah, um, let's go here. Let's go FRD. Let's just jump into this level 57, guys. Now, mind you this, I am facing a lot of 60s and high 50s, guys, at a level 48 um, status. So I do sympathize with all my lower level friends that, uh, yeah, you get teamed up with players sometimes that are way higher level, and it can just be a bug. So we're going to let out a cryo bomb here, guys. I know it's only 6 GBE, but it's going to clear all those mines for me. And this is basically kind of what Leo went through earlier today leo this is how you do it my friend <laughs> um i'm gonna flare right over here to this little storage here let the bullet out first guys so he takes all the damage because he is a meat shield galore once that boom cannon focus on him now boom cannon's probably gonna turn on my warriors but maybe not we'll do this oh he has the bullet do not just do what i did don't do what i just did because i didn't see that grappler so leo i do apologize uh th but this is what you want to do run the sides guys now, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I can take this out without the bullet, but it's going to be a tough one to say the least, guys. Um, I'm going to shock that shock launcher and hope for the best. Get around there, and let's shock the shock and the rocket and throw some med kits and hope my warriors. Uh, I just don't need it. I needed the bullet, guys. I needed the bullet, and I'm going to fail this one because I did not have the bullet. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not have the bullet, and that's why I'm failing this one. Because all those sniper towers, machine guns, cannons, and everything would have been focused on the bullet and not my warriors. And yeah, we're going to try that again, guys. And I'm going to do this time right. Okay, Leo? <laughs> yes, the grappler is a, a bullet uh, nemesis, guys. This guy has a lot of gold. Just kind of like you did, Leo. You had a lot of gold on this one, uh, the one that you didn't get done. But here we go, guys. We're going to throw a cryo bomb out again. This time I'm going to watch that grappler. I totally forgot about it. And we're going to flare right again right over here. This time I'm going to let everybody out together. Um, do you see how the boom cannon now faces the uh, warriors? Again, just got to be careful. Now, one of my warriors might get picked up by the grappler, but no, it did. We're going to go now all the way to this HQ, guys, and make our smoky move. Again, keep them tight. Uh, running along the wall is the best route for your warriors, guys, because um, they just run so beautifully straight. Now, there's the shock mines once again. The bullet will get up to there and will taunt right now. Shocking that grappler, guys, and that shock launcher. And uh, then we'll throw a med kit. Now, the, the rockets are going to be poised to strike at the, the warriors. But you can see the bullet. Now, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. This guy has ice, right? Yeah, he has ice. So maybe I'm not taking it down, okay? So, again, Leo, scratch what I said. But that's kind of the idea you want, guys. Now, yeah, this guy has ice. And uh, that probably prohibited me um, from... <laughs> doing it i really think i can do it guys i just i mean i can keep trying but uh let's see if we can actually um you know what let's try hookah bazooka here i'm I, i'm gonna try something on a whim i'm gonna try it we're gonna go battle orders um and uh, where is she there she is up here select let's try battle orders on this one guys 
Um, you know, we'll see what we can do here. Let's see. Oh, that flamethrower is going to be a problem. We got to get rid of him. Um, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see here. Um, yeah, let me see what I can do here. Let's see what a barrage and an artillery will do to this flamethrower. Not too sure. Again, come on, barrage. Hook me up. Thank you so much. Okay. And um, right here, guys, I'm going to let the heavies out first. Just because I need them to run over the mines for my girls. So we're going to go like this and then like this. Now that grappler is going to pick some of them off. And uh, we're gonna flare right over here. Don't take my, don't take my, 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 my uh, brick. Do not take my brick. Oh, he took a heavy. Okay, good. We're gonna go over here now, guys. And uh, hopefully, hopefully by the time we actually start getting the HQ, we have GBE to shock. Then I'll have a battle orders <laughs> and uh, make this work. Otherwise, this is gonna be a super duper. Now I'm only gonna do one smoke, guys. Normally we do like three smokes, but I'm gonna, I gotta save GBE. I got to re-flare because that flare is running out. We're flaring the HQ. I'm shocking here and shocking out these machine guns. Throwing med kits on my girls because the rockets are going to start blasting. And come on, girls. I need some more Zooka power out of you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, guys. Oh, I didn't see the shock launcher down here. Man, oh, man. What I needed to do was shock the shock and the mortar and then the other shock with the machine guns, guys. That's what I needed to do. I'm not giving up. I don't give up. <laughs> 829 Racer. Merry Christmas to you, my good friend. Thank you so much for joining. I love Racer. Racer, you're a good man. You're a good guy. Thank you so much. Now he's online. Be like lavishing and all the... Now, guys, that's all sunlight hitting my green screen. So I do apologize. And you see it on my shirt here. Oh, that sun. I love the sun, but, you know. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Uh, he, he's still actually... We get back at now he's lavishing and saying thank you op or sunboom for those gems and intel for my task force um what else are we doing today <laughs> i know cool enlist after college go to officer training um i'm sorry i'm looking at you guys' comments guys it's really bugging me i'm sorry if i'm if i'm not ignoring you at all um warriors are the best yes they are my brother is a drill instructor in the Marines and is stationed at Camp Pendleton. Near the oh, wow. Okay. Awesome, Krusty. Um, I thought the eyes were stationed at Paris Island. <laughs> I don't know. Hunt Bill. Um, I will be streaming New Year, East Coast time. If off joins via Skype voice, that's awesome. If not, you stuck with the old man doing grumpiness. <laughs> Leo, you're awesome, man. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that too, uh, live streaming East Coast, have like a timer at the bottom when actual uh, New Year's hit so I could celebrate with all my East Coast friends. That would be kind of cool. Leo, I'm sure is going to be doing that. You thought of it first, man, go for it. Same thing happened to me, grappler, grab, bullet. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, Leo. I, I'm thinking, here, Leo, learn from me. And then obviously I don't uh, do that well. Um <laughs> I'm going to college, Bill, so I haven't yet. Merry Christmas again, once again, uh, A29 Racer and everybody else. Um, good luck with that base op. Got to go have a bunch of family over. Johnny Ray, take care. Enjoy your time with your family. Um, I'm taking this guy out before I leave. I don't care what he says. But guys, here's my point now. I'm going to be shocking the, 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 the actual shock launcher and mortar, which I did not see last attack because I'm a knucklehead. And then I'm going to see if I can sneak in a shock for this grappler. Uh, this shock launcher and these two machine guns. It's going to be, I'm actually going to go for the machine guns, guys, because, um, um, you know, those will kill my Zookas like quick style. So we're going to do barrage and artillery again to get out this flamethrower. We don't want him near. And, uh, boom. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing we did here. Let out these, uh, heavies and then, um, let out the Zookas. Once that boom cannon tags onto my heavies, um, oh, now don't you dare hit brick, you boom cannon. You boom cannon. Okay, we're going to come back over here, guys. And we're going to actually smoke now. And then uh, finally make our way over to the rendezvous spot. Oh, my Zookas, don't you dare hit another mine. Let's throw a med kit just to help with their dignity and their health. We're going to go one, two, guys. Now, I still got to reflare like twice because my flare is going to run out. And I need to get brick battle orders. Flare. We're going to shock and shock. 
Got the machine guns. That's good. Now, we just need the rockets to actually not hit my girls. And, uh... Oh, come on, man. <laughs> uh, what a disaster. What a disaster. You'll leave when you beat them. Okay, I'm gonna beat them. And you know what I think, guys, when I didn't beat them with warriors? Was because I didn't get that shock launcher shocked. And that was my problem. So, let me do this. I'm gonna beat them. I am gonna beat this guy, whether or not he likes it. He's probably gonna say, keep attacking. Keep attacking, Sun Boom, because you're gonna lose every time. Bulloni I am. I want your gold, my friend. I want your gold, and I'm gonna take it. I, I really believe the shock launcher was shocking bullet or something, or my troops too, and it was prohibiting them from going full crazy action on the HQ. Now, here, guys, I know. I gotta waste a cryo bomb, but we're gonna do that, and we're gonna flare right over there. And uh, we're going to utilize this. Now, that grappler is intact. I got to be careful, guys. I got to be careful. All right, warriors. Got to the... Uh, wow, not bad. I'm, I'm super pumped on that. We're going to go all the way to the HQ now, guys. And uh, hope that we can make this merry and bright. Okay, we're going to go smoke, smoke, and smoke. Now I have 26 GBE, guys, to set off a taunt. And then um, shock those crazy... Crazy defenses. We're going to do it right now and right now. Okay. Now, it's just a matter of... Now, the bullet gets targeted again. I missed the actual grappler. And come on, warriors. Come on, warriors. Yes. Yes. Go. <laughs> FRD, you were worthy competitor. But my level 48 account with only two statues boosted. And you have two ice statues took you down. You were worthy, my good friend. You said, oh gosh, 468,000 gold, but man, we were able to do it, guys. It actually was beneficial that the that the grappler grabbed the bullet because every time they grabbed him, everybody focused on him and it kind of worked out in my favor. So, yes, that was a worthy competitor though. I so if he ever watches or tunes into my stream or watches this, I don't know if YouTube actually recommends my stream to him. I don't know, we'll see. Um then he can actually see that he's a worthy competitor. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> So, Johnny Ray, you're dismissed now, my friend. You're dismissed, Johnny Ray. You are dismissed. Go enjoy your family. Enjoy the Merry Christmas holiday, my friend. I like when you are persisted up. Persistent up. Thank you so much, Milan. Tommy Lee, Dawn in the house. What's going on, my good friend? Good morning to you. Good evening to you. Good afternoon to you. Um, Merry Christmas to you. I'm sure you guys, it's already, well, if you celebrate it, it's already Christmas in other part of the world already. So, again, Merry Christmas to everybody on the channel, if you celebrate it or not. I mean, happy holidays, I guess, if you want me to be a little bit more politically correct. But, um, there we go. It's just NPC bases, guys. Now I cleared it. Um, let's see what my base can do against Hammerman. Um, wait, hold on. Before I do that, can I upgrade my armory? Yes, I can. Let's do it, guys. Boom. I was told on my last stream on Friday night to do that, and uh, uh, now I am doing it, guys. I, 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 forso I forsook it, and now I did it. So, um, guys, if you don't know, the Tribal Regions boost reset in one hour, ten minutes. I'm sure the chicken's going live. Um, to He always does that on the boost reset day, so make sure you tune into him. Okay, now I'm out of here. See you. Happy holidays, guys. Take care, Johnny. Right? You gave that guy a bunch of diamonds and intel for Christmas. Oh, I did. Crusty, I did. Sped 3, Tanks New Year. Tanks? Wait, are you telling us something, Sped 3? That uh, That's on the uh, resets? Do you have that before? Did you hack Supercell's uh, algorithm for uh, Boom Beach? I don't know. But if that's the truth, then it's happy thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Sped 3. All right, guys. So what else is there to do? Just kind of just definitely um, see if we can defend. I mean, obviously... Uh, obviously, stage one should hopefully be a downer. Look at those tanks. I thought they were mini scorchers, guys. Uh, they're all like red like the scorchers. They did a really good little artwork on... Gosh, there's a lot of heavies here. Come on, boom cannons. Come on, rockets. Come on, my little lower level machine guns. Come on. <laughs> well, I got two more boom cannons in the distance uh, and a shock launcher to keep those tanks at bay. Um, and the, the, the heavies are actually almost destined to go down. Well, we'll, we'll just kind of do that. Um... And then finally, yeah, they're done. They are stunned. They are shocked. They don't know what to do. And this tank's, poor little tank's going down. <laughs> stage one, guys, like I said. Stage two, 
Um, stage three. Again, I know I'm super deeper. Like, turn up the lights. Dark. Okay. Uh, yeah. What are we gonna do? Stage two. Hey, I will get as far as I can, guys, with this account. I don't have any ice. My defenses aren't super duper maxed out. But let's just go four times. Let's go two times. Make it a little bit more special. Um. Whoa. I don't even know if I'm gonna beat this one, guys. <laughs> I mean, unless we can knock out all those riflemen and the heavies and everything. I don't know. Machine guns, work your magic, please. Do something. Do something. Flamethrowers, attack those riflemen and heavies. Okay, well, now, guys, it's just a matter of my Zookas. I got the rocket still there. Um, but uh, And the shock launcher's doing some work. But it looks like, guys, we're getting taken down here. Uh, maybe if I put my HQ in the very back, um, then we'll get it. Because they got to run into that boom cannon, the cannon, and the sniper tower. So, yeah, I'm going to lose this one, guys. Not because I really wanted to. Um, but I think if I just move my HQ to the back, we're good. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. So, Hammerman, you got lucky. Congratulations, and you're welcome for the gems. If you even get gems when you beat us. I don't know. Uh, all right. No, no, no. Stop. <laughs> A little quick finger on here, guys, with the iPad. That's not my base. What am, wait, what am I doing? Okay, guys. Really, really going. Oh, I forget. When he attacks me, guys, it's my island base. That's what's throwing me off. And then it's my ice base here. How weird is that? Glitch. Supercell, you forgot to do that one. Got to keep it. You forgot to keep the actual ice base. Okay, really? Um, all right, you go over here. Go over there. And you're going to go over here now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, guys, look at I got my ice base, but now in here, Hammerman's attacking my, my, my tropical island base. Oh, just noticed that. I think the shish kebabber said something about that too as well. So, yeah. Oh, what's up? Uh, Manai Balif. Uh, if I get him, I'm botching your guys' names. I do apologize. What's going on? Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome to my my new my new my stream. My pre Merry Christmas drinking your eggnog kind of stream. So guys, you can see what a difference here a, uh, a, a HQ replacement makes. Now we need those zookas to be like gone. Now come on, shock launcher, do some work here. Thank you. And uh, I mean, I'm assuming we'll come on. You gotta get the other zookas. Okay, well, we we should get this, guys. We got the boom cannon and the cannon going after those tanks. You can definitely see that it's a little bit difficult, more difficult for these uh, these troops, uh, for your base to hold up against these troops. Now, that's just level two, guys, and it's almost like a serious like threat to me. So we'll four times this, and we'll get these tanks moving, even though they don't move at four times much either. So, again, they got to go puncture those boom cannons and cannons, so they're not going to win this war unless they sneak over to my HQ without any... Okay. Come on, tell me you can reach Boom Cannon. Thank you. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys. That was close for comfort, though. I will tell you that much. Now, stage three. What do you got going on against me? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Let, let's just try it. Let's just try it, guys. Stage three. That's as furthest as I'm going to get if I can get past this. But uh, I'm not promising anything at all. Run over those mines. Boom mines. Do everything kind of mine. Whatever you got to do. Um... Um, running, roasting those riflemen. Gosh, look at all the Zookas coming aboard. Now this one, guys, since my rockets are out of commission already, this might be a doomsday for me. Probably got to put my rockets more further back. Start spraying the Zookas and riflemen before they get up to my, my final actual area. So, yeah. Um, yeah. There, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's super close. I'm not going to lie to you. That boom cannon, if it can take out those tanks before it dies... Would be possibly a victory, but those Zookas are still hanging on, and all we have left is just a cannon, which I think is not going to be uh, OP here to help me out. Four times. Yeah, it's not going. It's not going. It's not going. We need to move the rockets back, guys. Maybe we'll be able to clinch that one if we get the rockets to the back. So, again, few few little, uh, little uh, alterations. To I got three rockets. I should be putting these things back more. I mean, I mean I'm just really... Putting them in a bad spot. And guys, my base is by far not uh, fully, like, that excellent. Okay, I'm gonna not going to lie to you. It's really not. I'm going to put this right over here just because um, the shock launcher can shock while my rockets rock. The shock launcher can shock while my rockets rock. <laughs> okay, I will stop with the stupid silliness. Okay, let's do this, guys. Stage 3. Come on. Let's take it. Let's take it for the YouTube team. Here, guys, now the sun is starting to hit me in my... Beard here. Um, let's two times this. Come on. 
Now the rockets aren't coming into effect here, but once they get into range, it's going to be rocket launcher love. Um, come on, rockets. There you go. Come into play. This is going to help, guys, my Zookas, because the uh, Zookas should get in front of the tanks, because the tanks are so slow, and our rockets should kind of belt the uh, Zookas, which, look at this. My, my rockets are still healthy, guys. So those Zookas are gone. It's just a matter of tanks. Yeah, see, guys, it's the simplicity of moving a few defenses around that will win you the victory. And look at the rockets and the shock launchers, the boom cannons. Not going to get past the guys. Not going to get past. Maybe the shock launcher will get past, but you're not getting anywhere else tanks. You got to go through my boom cannons, a sniper tower there on the right, and a bunch of rockets just hitting you guys. Which are doing a considerable amount of damage, but over time, it'll take them out. <laughs> Four times just to show the agony of this tank go down by sniper tower, rocket fire. Yeah, look at that, guys. Just moving the rockets back. Help me secure that victory. So boom. Um, I love the way you said my name. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said you loved the way I said it. I probably didn't say it right. So I do. Um, Manai Belel. Belel. I don't know. Bailel. Bilel. <laughs> You're missing the food conversation at the chat. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, uh, Leo. I know. I got. You know what, guys? I enjoy rewatching this, not because I like to see myself. But I like to see the comments that I missed. I do apologize. Uh, okay. There's the chicken messaging me. Okay. So, chicken, if you're watching, that was your notification popping up for the whole YouTube uh, to see. <laughs> okay. Stage four, guys. What do we got? Oh, grenadiers. I might as well just say that's the end of me. I told you guys stage one, two, and three. I'm going to probably get through. But here, I'm going down. And the sun is starting to creep up. It's just seriously like, you guys look at my green screen's getting a little bit better. It's moving off to the side. But, uh,. <laughs> Oh, man, those grenadiers. Okay, there's the chicken again. I don't want to, like, reveal all this. You might be saying something like, here's my address. Send me at some Boom Beach socks or something. And I don't want you guys to see that. Then I'd feel bad. Um, oh, man, I need the rockets to, like, really seriously pelt those grenadiers. But they don't move fast because they focus on these weapons, uh, these turrets that, yeah, that, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's just gone, so. Oh, man, I don't even want to watch. You guys can watch for me. I don't even want to watch. I want to admire my keyboard. <laughs> oh, man. This is stage four, guys. Something easy my base would be able to take out. But this feels like stage seven to me on uh, on my main level account. Oh, that's just hideous. Could I make some base arrangements? Absolutely. Man, that sun is starting to creep down on my face. You can see it going down. <laughs> Okay, all right, well, I'm going to do this and just go back to, where was my base? This is a good base? I don't know. We'll just go back this. We'll do that. That way I don't have to remember where I put everything. Okay, so there you guys go right there. A little bit of a base tweaking. You can actually go a long way to stage three. And that's it. Unless you have better defenses and ice on your base. Mary, to you, the best, all the best to you guys. So, okay, so what are we doing? Anything else, or should I just kind of leave? I just don't want to see NPC bases. Do you really? I mean, if you really want to, I mean, I can. Let me know. Noisy boy. Noisy boy donating $2? Thank you, buddy. You didn't have to do that, man. Thank you very much. Whoa. $2. Merry Christmas to you, noisy boy. Thank you so much, man. You're awesome, dude. Thank you very much for that. Scorcher health would be good tribe. Yeah, noisy boy, that would be a good one, man. Keep on warriors tribes, please. Yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy, again. Thanks. Give it up to noisy boy, guys, for a nice little donation. Thank you so much, man. You guys are awesome. You don't need to do that, but uh, thank you very much. It means a lot. Um, not only do you support my channel, but you 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 it in other ways as well so thank you so much let's take a look at the secret base here let's see what's so secretive about this base what are you looking at okay we're gonna just do this there's no mines i don't see any mines so we're fine um this should be a no warrior loss guys and if it is i do apologize but it should be no warrior loss we're gonna do that and then finally we're gonna go to the resting place to the resting place now don't peek don't peek 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I said a no warrior loss, guys, and I'm going to stick to it. We're going to throw the taunt out, and we'll throw some cryo bombs in the back. And uh, we'll throw some critters and med kits. And if I'm exactly right, we had no warrior loss there. But we'll see. It'll be a secret, I guess, as a, until we know. Um, any warriors lost. No casualties. Man, now I gotta lower my... Okay. Oh, it's gonna start rising. My face is gonna be like a ghost soon, guys. And it kind of, whoa, I just did that. In my, it kind of did that on its own. That was weird. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Uh, you you are a good supercell should reward you and Leo in, in all YouTube. Thank you noisy boy Who's keeping the game alive? Thank you noisy boy. That means a lot to me and thank you so much again guys I'm not this pale. It's just I got lights hitting me. I got the sunlight hitting me kind of leaving like a weird looking like like Graphic on the left there. I, I get it. I know it's not my nighttime streams guys I do apologize and finally now I gotta lift my head a little bit higher let me move the mic up a little bit higher. A little bit higher so that sun doesn't get me because when I leave it down here, <laughs> you can see it hitting my beard. Hitting my beard. Okay, let's move on. A cut above the rest. Let's take a look at this base. See if it really is a cut above. Yeah, not bad. I will not. I will throw a cry bomb right in the middle of those mines there because that's where I really want to run. Um, and then we'll finally kind of go over here. I'll throw some critters for those shock mines, shock launchers to chew on. Um, and we'll kind of do this. This and that. Ooh! Getting pretty crazy with the smokes. Then finally, take it to the rendezvous point, you guys. Go take your business to the rendezvous point. You guys are going to peek over there, aren't you? Oh, okay. We're good to go. Throw out a taunt, guys. And the only thing we need to do is shock those shock launchers. And I'll shock these cannons down here because they're probably not in the taunt. And it looks like Merry Christmas to OP Sunboom's account. We're going to take out this base without losing a warrior, I believe. I believe we didn't lose a warrior. But uh, we shall see. Boom, no casualties. Hooray. Boom, guys. <laughs> Supercell hates me. No, they don't, Leo. They love you. They... Listen, Leo. You gotta let bygones be bygones, my friend. You know, you are promoting their game. Whether they like it or not, or whether you accept it or not. When you put on Boom Beach videos, Leo, and you do it more than I do, I would say. Um... You're promoting their game and by doing that you're exposing their game players that look up to Leo and like the game so you're keeping the game alive just as the chicken is just as Zed mod is just as the beardaholic just as cosmic duo and all the other ones um, uh, if I'm forgetting somebody I'm, I'm sorry oh shishka bobber uh, there we, guys we are all together um, Leo I kind of want to tell you guys you guys remember the Brady Bunch I, I need to know you guys remember the Brady Bunch? If you guys do, let me know. Otherwise, I don't want to talk about it if you don't know the Brady Bunch. It was an old family show where where this one time this fellow met this young lady and they became the Brady Bunch. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about before I spiel on what I'm going to really say. Okay, we're going to do this. And I'm going to shock shock. And look at the bullet getting taunted while my warriors are going to town on that HQ, guys. Isn't it a glorious, glorious sight to see? <laughs> Practice random. Designed by Commander. Okay. Three for three. Oh, man. That sun, you guys can see. It's obviously heading down. I got to adjust that little, little thing I have on my window. Um, otherwise, you guys just could see me full of sunshine. Literally, full of sunshine. A level 9 time. Are you kidding me? Can I just bark this out? No, I can't. We'll just do that. Take care of that mind damage. Do your mind. And then we'll just flare up to this. Let the bullet out first since, you know, that's just the way to do it, guys. Because he's just a scorcher with legs. That's what he is. He's a scorcher with legs. I'm going to do that. And since he's too close to the rocket. Oh. I gotta go. Let's see how many I can go without losing the warrior, guys. This is gonna be the true test. Throw a med kit to preserve. Oh, that, oh, that warrior's just hanging on to some health. Throw the taunt up. And uh, we are gonna do some shock treatment right here. Right there. And come on. 
No warrior damages, guys. This will be our fourth in a row with no warrior's death. <laughs> Level 9 time designed by Cruise Missile, guys. Yes, 4 for 4, guys, on lo not losing any warriors. Super duper awesome. What's about uh, no defenses can kill him, only ice. I guess nobody knows who the Brady Bunch is. Leo Coach, off. I am going to eat and drink beer and watch uh, the Grinch movie again. I'll see you later, my friends. Keep on booming, people, and never give up. Oh, Leo, that's the famous last words from Leo, guys. Keep on booming, people. Here it is. Let me do it. Keep on booming, people, and never give up. <laughs> and then the little end, the outro goes, and Leo's just really awesome. A village lost. Okay, double doom. Oh, let's double doom this. Going five for five, guys, without losing a warrior would be super duper awesomeness. Um, let's just do this to slow down the boom cannons. We're going to flare right to the actual HQ and let our troops go out. Um, I will double smoke here because they're so spread out. We'll double smoke again. Then we'll smoke here and smoke there. Oh, that was... Hey, get in there. <laughs> that was beautiful. I liked it. We're going to taunt now, guys. And the only thing I'm going to shock are these... Just in case these cannons and machine guns aren't out of range. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got it. Why are you hitting my troops? Don't hit my troops. <laughs> Double boom, guys. Going down. Can it be five in a row where I don't lose a warrior? Um, <laughs> no warriors. Five for five, guys. Not losing a warrior. I'm just saving gold so I don't have to retrain anybody. Um, What am I doing? Level nine again. Level nine time again. We'll do that and that and dibble that. <laughs> this time I'm just going to just kind of do this. I'm getting kind of lazy, guys, now. But uh, we'll make it. Everything will be all right. We're going to flare finally there and there. Boom. Always shock the shocks, guys. I must stress it again. All my lower level buddies. Throw the taunt out and make sure you shock the shock launchers when you're doing this. Because otherwise it won't work how you want it to work. And boom, guys. Level 9 again designed by Cruise Missile. In a lot of advertising here <laughs> or promotion uh through much my stream again there we go guys no casualty uh hashtag no casualty guys um um let's take a look at you um well, look at this base this is gnarly okay we're gonna see if we can get an artillery shell to take out all those boom mines can we do it oh we can do it oh we can do it guys don't ever now those shock mo launchers guys on the beach I guess, yeah, they could be a pain, but they aren't going to be an effect at the HQ, so I'm not too worried about it. We're going to do this. We'll do a double kind of wide smoke. Not really wide smoke, but we'll do that. Well, actually, you have to do a three smoke because uh, trying to go without losing a troop. Get in there. <laughs> Finally to the HQ. Now, guys, this is a matter of if I can keep my troops in line without peeking, without peeking behind the trees. No. Get in there. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so getting crazy. I got a shock. So many shock launchers. Not even funny. Oh, I didn't get the other shock launcher. All right, guys. This is a moment of truth. Oh, look at it. The sun is moving up. I got. Let me move my chair up a little bit more. Do this, guys. Go, go, go. Gadget chair. And now I need to, like, just... There we go. <laughs> no casualties. Six in a row, my friends. Mrs. Doyle, good evening to you. And good afternoon to me, because its sun is beating down on me, guys. That's the sunlight right over there. You guys can see right over there. That's the sunlight, and the sunlight's beginning to melt me as it rises above my face, almost. Above my chin. More specific. What is this, level 9? I'm just going to destroy you. That's the third time that guy's base was on my map. Okay. I think I... There's some more. Pierced. Oh, Pier Pierce. Gosh, the light is going crazy on me. Should I turn off this light? Oh, no. <laughs> no, turn it down, maybe. Do a little bit down. Guys, I'm not like. Yeah, I just. Oh, well, look at this one, guys. Made a true love base with, with cannons. Now, this one's going to be a little bit crazy, but uh, we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. I go like this and like this. Now, we got to be careful. Those cannons will reach my troop. Did I lose a warrior? I think I just lost my warrior, guys. I'm gonna go like that. That and like that. 
I think that HQ could be barraged out on my higher level account, you guys. So we're going to taunt here. Throw some critters over here. And uh, see what we can get out of this. I'm going to actually... Oh, pfft. that was like seriously like one blast. But I fear, I fear we lost one of my warriors. And that's going to end my no hero, no warrior lo Oh. They probably hit the bullet. They probably hit the bullet instead. Guys, I'm sorry. Let me raise that up so my head doesn't get cut off. There we go. Just for you guys. <laughs> it's 10 past 11. Wow. Merry Christmas. Darkened Alley, what's up? I'm on the East Coast. It's pitch blackout. Oh, it's. I'm sure it's dark. Yeah, it's, it's 512 over there, dude. Absolutely, posse. The, uh, the Vernon. The, the Vernon posse. I don't know. Uh, yeah, good evening to you, Mrs. Doyle. Nice seeing you again. Um, I hate true love. Well, I love true love. Um, well, not on Boom Beach, but, you know, true love, guys. Like my wife and I have. Uh, let's see. Hunting season. Oh, my son's behind my green screen, so if it goes down, guys, it's not my fault. Oh, my wife got him. She got him. It's hunting season here on Boom Beach, but we're going to go hunt ourselves some power stones. That's what we do over here. Okay. Um, let's do, let's just flare. We're going to flare there. Let the bullet out first, guys, so we can get all the damage. Because he's just a mini scorcher with legs. We're going to go like this. Smoke, smoke. No joke, joke, joke. Floppy. No. Ooh. Oh, I lost my first warrior there. I saw it. I saw the puff of smoke. I saw the puff of smoke. And that's it, guys. My 7-0 streak of not losing troops on this with warrior has has come to an, a a a, 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 a it is, it is ex non, non-existent anymore, guys. Oh, man. Throw some med kits. Boom. So, with that said, one of my warriors were hunted down, and I did lose one. So, guys, there it is. Oh, uh, wah, wah, wah. So, my seven or six streak warrior loss. Again, guys, sorry. The sun is making me look like a ghost. Okay, <laughs> it is. But I'm happy to say that I think all my NPC bases are done, guys. Any moderators in here? Do I have any moderators? Leo, I know you're probably gone drinking your beer. You're probably half, probably done drinking your beer. If anybody, if there's any moderator here, please say something. Please say something. I should have told Leo to stay in here for like two more minutes. I have something for you guys. And I need Leo to pick. Oh, Leo, please tell me you're still in here. <laughs> He's not, probably. Okay, guys. Uh, well, I got to stage four. Well, I got to it. I didn't beat it. But stage four um, was the death of me on this account. Grenadiers just, just wreck you when you're low level. I don't know. I don't know. They just wreck you. But uh, I think, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I really do. Um... Oh, yeah, you can look at my base here because I've made a new base on my main level account here. Let's go take a gander at that real quick. Look at this base setup, guys. I got um, I got two Shock Blaster 3s. And um, I've noticed a lot of people using those now because uh, they don't use Critical Fuses, guys. And that's what I need. That's what I need to keep up and save. So putting three, two Shock Blaster 3s and a, sh a Shield Generator 3 over here. And there's my HP, guys. Boasting. Boasting like over 600k. Now, when I boosted my ice last night, I boosted this for one, one, you know, one cycle. It was like almost seven, eight hundred thousand HP. So again, I'm gonna be raided, guys. I saw some guy warrior taunt my base, but he had a, he was boosted like crazy. So that's understandable. But I think I'll win the war on a lot of attacks if I, you know, not not a lot, but you know, there's always flaws, guys, to bases. But I like this setup, guys. It's kind of an idea from a base I ran into that I, I, I had a hard time taking down. I figure, why not kind of mimic his base? And so I did. And that's that's as good as it gets. Yeah, I know. You're looking at me saying, you're shocked. That shock blaster and rock can be shocked together. I know. Then he's going to need to shock this and that, which he can't shock together. That he can't shock together. That he can't shock with that. And yeah, he's going to have a hard time. <laughs> but then with the taunt, you guys, are, you guys will kill it. Because the taunt will taunt everything here. And yeah, it, it's a GG for me. But other than that, guys... That's me, OP Destroy. Mrs. Doyle, you hit 600 VP this weekend and got diamonds. 
Boom. Congratulations, guys. That's a big payout. That's the biggest payout super sell. Man, I'm, I'm super like, hello. Hello. I got this light shooting at me, too. So that's probably why I'm so blown out. Here we go. My goodness. Um, let's lower the light threshold on there. There we go. Kind of make myself not look like... You know, the, the, the new ghost on uh, Clash Royale. <laughs> you guys like that? That's pretty cool. I have 36 critical fuses, a low-level approach. Don't really use them. Yeah, I'm going to be using them when I go all ice, guys, because I'm going to be putting out shield generators, and shield generators require a lot of... I think they require nine for a three. And um, a hot pot threes, I've been using those. Those require critical fuses. So, I need to save up. I have a ton of the other prototype guys. I don't need any more. I need critical truth, critical fuse. Well, my friends, my good friends, here and far. <laughs> oh yes, Krusty Commander. I was gonna look at your base. Uh, you, you, what, what, what's your, what's your uh, task force again? Again, I'm sorry, man. Kind of re, uh, make me think. Uh, remember, make me remember. <laughs> My dad once got a base like this, except the cannons were mortars. <laughs> Level 46, Mrs. Doyle. That's a, that's right. Raw. Now, I don't have the big muscles that you have on there, but uh, yeah, nice job, Mrs. Doyle. Commanders. It, it, it's just called co-commanders. Okay. Wait, was it Commanders Co-Commanders? No, oh, you, I, I forgot, I forgot the hyphen, right? Does it even matter? Obviously it might, right? It does. <laughs> and your name is, um, what's your name again here, buddy? Commander Emac? Emag? That's your name? Yeah, I got it, dude. So... Uh, crusty duh my goodness guys maybe i have a little too much eggnog whoa the sun guys i can move down and it doesn't get me anymore it's actually it's moving over and my green screen's looking better it's getting better by the hour by the minute i've been going for an hour and 22 minutes so mr crusty hunting oak what's going on man welcome to the stream my good friend how are you if you guys want to be really cool here uh, it's me I'm back. It's great. I'm glad you're back, my friend. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys want to see what's really cool? Look up at the top of your screen. See, 1301. That's how many awesome subscribers I have right now. So what happens is if I get a new sub, it goes up. And if I if I lose a sub, it goes down. Um, what's really cool, guys, if you look below the chat, see that big black space right there? That right there is uh, uh, for my little guitar buddy. That when you subscribe, but make sure it's public. Make sure it's public, guys. If you make your subscriptions public, you'll see a little guy playing a guitar. And it'll show your name subscribing to my channel. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Now, if you see if you, if you subscribe again and you don't see that little guy, it's because your subscriptions aren't made public. And whoever did that, that's awesome. It works. I, trust me, it works. It works. You should call your subscribers op subscribers or something. Yeah, that would be... Look at... Milan, look at that. There you are. Milan, that's me right there, guitaring out to you, buddy. You just subscribed. See that, guys? See how cool that is? <laughs> Milan obviously made his subscriptions uh, public. And that's all it does, guys. When you make them public, it doesn't like let out your information. It lets you know that when you go on someone's stream and you subscribe, it shows it. So there you go. 1302. Thank you so much, whoever did that. <laughs> um, oh, well, Milan. Milan subscribed, I guess. So that made it 1302, guys. Um, but yeah, if you want to do that, that's fun. It, it, whatever. If you want to see yourself and out and you out. Gosh, did I just like? It's so weird. I, I guess the camera, the camera that's filming me, it, it's it has an auto exposure, and so it blows me out of proportion when I kind of throw my hands up, reflecting light in different directions. So again, Crusty Commanders, I'm sorry, man. Let me proceed. This is your base review, my friend. Let's take a gander at your statues. Do I see any true? Oh, there you go. I was scared. I'm like, you only got purple statues. You're scaring me, buddy. Okay, resource reward, 48%. Beautiful. Again, as you continue to actually increase your um, your your defenses, your upgrades, you definitely want to do that. So nice job on that. A 68% Power Stone chance coupled with the 75% 
That is super duper nice. I hope you're getting a lot of power stones, my good friend. A 40% GBE at this level. Well, you're 60. Um, you know, you're not super duper low, but that's not bad. But for that 42, I had actually a 40% for the longest of times. And I, I was able to get it and I was super pumped. I will hold on that to light. I'll take my last breath, my friend. 15 and a 15. Not bad. Shoot for some more guardians. You want those 17s coming up. 16, 16, and 15. So not bad. You are super duper swimming in GBE. I'm not going to lie to you. Nice job there, my friend. Your troop health, 32%. I believe 35 is the actual max capacity troop health. Oh, man. The sun has moved on, guys. And you can see that my... Green screen no longer. So well, actually, it does. It's. I thought that was part of the snow in the in the background, but it's not. It's moving away. So there you go. Th not bad. Not bad. And a troop damage. The max capacity troop damage is 32%. I only have a 31, so I'm still waiting, guys, for that. Um, and my face is super duper, like, blown out. Move over there more. <laughs> Again, I do apologize. I'm not super duper like pale. It's just the light hitting me. Um, and with the sunlight, it just doesn't make good. So nice job on your statues, Krusty. Now let's go look at your boats over here. You got a 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21. Um, nice job, man. Super duper nice job on your boats. Them full. Okay. Where's your HQ at, dude? Oh, what are you doing, man? You're. <laughs> I'm like, wait. There's an empty spot right there for his HQ. Where is his HQ? Did it? Did it get snowed in? Did it covered by? Did it get covered by snow? But I obviously see that you're having. Um, you want to lose some victory points? That's fine. Or you're just wishing everybody that comes on your beach a merry Christmas with your your, your beach mystery. Um, keeping a surveillance eye on your HQ. Okay. Well. Um, all I can say, uh, well, <laughs> um, one recommendation a recommendation would be to move your, your, your headquarters back to its normal position. Um, I get why people actually want to um, beach their HQ, guys. It's because it gets too difficult. I understand. I completely understand. However, you're going to be losing victory points one way or the other. Either by massive a massive decline right by doing this. Or just putting your base up here, guys. The least of the, the worries, guys, is you're going to get raided and you're going to lose victory points one way or the other. Uh, when bases spawn, when people raid you, it's just a fact of the Boom Beach life. So I don't, I, I, I quite don't want to understand why people do that. If you really want to lose victory points, just don't play Boom Beach for like three days. Leave your HQ over there and you'll drop down in victory points. Um, because... Don't you want to get some intel? Don't you want to get some crystals? I mean, not crystals, some diamonds, because people aren't going to always solo your base without losing troops. And I just kind of think maybe you should reconsider it because, you know, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, just don't leave it like that for Hammerman, dude, because you'll go down right away. Even stage one will take you down. But other than that, man, I like your base setup. Um, you got some of these, this GBE over here. Make sure that rocket covers them. That's fine. Got a boom cannon over here, making making life beautiful. Um, your rocket launchers here are covering a nice swath of your base here. Um, let me see here. What I would probably do in this instance, now, this shock launcher and rocket can be shocked together, which is, I get it, it's no problem. I would probably consider putting your shock launcher where this cannon is. That way... It it, it 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 maybe move this uh, rocket launcher where the snipe flamethrower is. That way you have shock launcher shooting out at troops beyond your rocket launchers, and that way they can't shock them all together. I don't know why I get so stuck on shocking stuff, guys, and turrets. I just look at it like, you know, it, it just don't want to give them any special shocking treatment. And I believe with one shock they can actually get all these defenses here. These two rockets and that shock launcher. So if I were you, obviously you're not too worried about defending your base right now. <laughs> so do what you want, but that's my recommendation. You got your mortars nicely placed out over here. I'd probably put another mortar, since you got these mortars kind of working the left side. I'd probably put him more up over here by this residence, kind of covering this side. Because there's a lot of GBE to be had here. And yes, your rockets will help with that. 
um, but um, maybe kind of space out a little bit because you want a mortar. He wouldn't really be able to hit your HQ. Maybe from right over there he can. So I don't know. Do with which which what you want, my friend. Again, this is just critical. You know, me being a little bit critical, but I'm not not to a point where you. This base is stupid. This base is awesome, man. Don't get me wrong. I love your base. Um, but obviously, right now you're beaching your HQ, and that's your prerogative, and you may do that all you want. Um, but I'm just kind of giving you my, my my two cents, my. I know that is awesome, man. Congratulations! All your landing crafts are level 21. Super duper awesome, man. Yeah, lower your VP. I I understand. Might as well defend for intel. Thank you, Mrs. Doyle. To the point I was trying to make. Yes. You know, you're going to get raided. You're going to lose victory points automatically, Krusty. I lose them, and I clear my map every day, and I lose them when I don't want to lose them. Um, my base is still getting taken down and raided, and it will. So, But this is a faster way. If you really want to lose them in a faster way, by all means, keep your keep your HQ right there on the beach. It might get a suntan when the ice goes away. Okay. So nice job, my good friend. You know, it is what it is. Have I ever beached my HQ? Um, no. No, not that I remember. I do not remember ever doing that. And I have the videos to prove it, guys. Now, do I do play Boom Beach off of you. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't always showcase everything. But no, I don't beach my HQ. As a matter of fact, I try to keep it from getting taken down. <laughs> because I want I want my victory points to stay. And I want my I want intel. I want diamonds. I want all that. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, I never got my computer to your e. I never got my computer or your emails. What's going? What do you mean, Cunny Nope? What do you mean, my friend? Check my base, bro, and senior baboons if you can. Thank you, Milan. Okay, welcome to the uh, Op Destroy Q and A. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. What's really fun? Once I clear my map and everything, you know, it 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 it's like I don't know what else to do on Boom Beach, and you know, all the fourteen people watching now. I mean, you're watching just because like me or maybe you want to chime in and say do my base review i don't know um okay milan milan uh uh you are oh my gosh re remember i gotta remember who are you milan again are you uh milan right duh milan this is you I don't know if you remember, but a long time ago, you said something about helping me, like, find a comp Oh, my gosh. Cunning Oak. I am super sorry, my friend. Ten minute warning. Are we leaving soon, baby? I guess so. Uh, I got to leave in ten minutes, guys. So that means I got to, like, go now. Cunning Oak, my good friend. Right here on YouTube live stream. I do apologize. <laughs> I do apologize, my friend. Um... Uh, I won't make any excuses. I'm just apologizing. I will get... I apologize. I was supposed to help you out, man. Um, sorry. <laughs> Again, guys. Um, and stream. Oh, okay. My wife's telling me you got 10 minutes left and then your stream's over. So, um, she's flagging me. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, dude. Honey, no. When I'm done here at streaming, I'm going to help you out. Uh, I'm going to go back through your email and read it. And then I'm going to give you the best assessment I can give you. Um, can I ask you right now since you're here live with me? Um, you want to do YouTube stuff. You want to do YouTube videos. Uh, you want to stream. Do you want to do something like that? So give me some of that kind of knowledge. Obviously, you did in your email. But if you could answer that right now, that would greatly help me. Um, and the light. Crazy. I'm going to actually make this warm light, guys, now. Take off the filter. Woo! Hello, everybody. I am glowing op destroy here. Let's do this. Give a little myself a little bit more color. Not, not super bad, but I actually made it tungsten lighting now. Kind of give me a, a reddish tint. And I know, guys, I got to get my color better. I got to get lights to make me actually fill in better than this. I'm using my lights to cover my green screen right now. So they're kind of bouncing off the side here um, and blasting me with their, their, their white fluorescent. So let's see here. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to stream my Xbox and maybe do something overlay with the computer that I get. Okay, that's really good. Um, I don't stream with my Xbox, my friend, but you definitely can do that. 
with your your PC. So let me after I'm done here and you know kind of gather myself together. I'm gonna do that. I do apologize again, Cunning Oak. I do apologize for that. Um, I will get back to you, my friend. I promise. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna leave a note in my phone right now. Got my handy dandy phone right here. Leave a note for me. To remember that. That way I don't forget. <laughs> like I have. I do apologize, my friend. All right, there we go. Got it, guys. Got it, noted, and I uh, will make sure I'm reminded that way, my friend. Thank you very much. Okay, Milan. Milan and the angry, uh, the senior baboons. Again, you know, you got some statues going. 41, beautiful. 17, 15, and a 15. Nice, nice job on the gunboat. Obviously, continue to chug out those, those statues as you continue. So, troop health, 32. Troop damage, 13, 13. Boom. Nice job on the perfect guardians, my friend. Um, go for that 35 like I am and continue to chug out some masterpiece troop damage statues for that perfect 32%. Power stone, 60%. And a resource reward, 47 to help you with resources. Beautiful. Go into your base, my good friend. Let's see what you got in store here. First off, let's go look at your boats. You're missing one of them with warriors. They're asking where their warrior family is. You got level 19s probably all across the board. Ooh, a level 13. And a level 20. Okay. Work on this bad boy unless you really like the look of this level uh, 13. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Work on these guys so your troops can actually be at max capacity on these boats. And that light's bugging me now. Ugh. That's the lowest setting it goes on. So, it's like, hello. I might be able to go on Logitech here. Let my, my camera settings... And lower uh, brightness. I know. I know. The brightness needs to come down a little bit. A little bit. Oh, there we go, guys. I could just lower the brightness a little bit. Contrast can come back a little bit. There we go. A little better. Would you not agree? Man, I should have done that the whole time. Uh, anyway, so there you go, guys. Again, a big uh, a little nugget of mine is upgrade all your offensive your armory, your troops, everything as much as you can, I believe, first. That way you, you're ready to go out to the battlefield, the Boom Beach battlefield, take out bases. So now going on to your map here, I see you had a nice little merry track of mines on the bottom here. It's fine. It's good. And I see that you have a bunch of mines here in case of a warrior rush attack, which is beautiful as well. Um, your rocket launchers are poised to track. Your, okay, your rocket launchers are actually in a good area um, to strike your all around your base which is good my friend um and you got your shock launchers here um let me see okay so my my, my only concern for you here man would be um your rocket launchers are the death the, the, the zookas are, will die to rocket launchers riflemen and everything which is good because you leave pretty much no mercy as they deploy on the beach. Now, obviously, they can still get on the beach in a nice deployment area um, before this rocket comes into play. But uh, your shock launcher here or right here. You know what, dude? I like your base. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. You have a good base. You got a shock blaster in the back here. Um, um, poised to strike troops from the, the front of your HQ, which is what you want. So... Overall, dude, I like your base, Milan. Your base is awesome, dude. It is super duper. Now my wife's hit me with five-minute warning. Yowzers. Um, you're awesome, man. Um, Minion Bay, what's up, my good friend? Um, but Milan, um, yeah, I like your base. Don't change it. You have a great base. I love your sniper towers lead in the front package here. Um, again, there's no perfect base, guys. You're going to get raided. You're going to lose. I'm not trying to get you all pumped up thinking, oh, you're not going to get raided. You will, but that's the way to go. Now, one thing I would do, I will tell you right now, Milan, is if anybody warrior rushes you now, especially with a tribal boost right now, um, that warrior is going to lock inside that grappler safe zone, which is kind of a bit big, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. It's kind of big. Uh, so it's not going to function. So maybe I would put it out like maybe where this boom cannon is. That way, it'll grab the uh, it'll grab um, a bullet, or it'll just grab warriors. Because right now, I don't think any but the warriors in the back of this HQ would get grabbed, um, or grappled, or whatever you want to call it. 
Um, but uh, it is what she is. That's the only thing I'd move. I'd probably move this a little bit. Now, obviously, it isn't a good range hovering your base. So if there's any tanks coming in, it'll actually be good. So it offsets the warriors, guys. So this is a great position for tanks because they got to destroy that. Otherwise, they're going to be grabbed and then taken here. And boom cannon galore is going to take them to death. So as a matter of fact, Milan, don't move it. I think it's good, man. The warrior tribal boost is almost over. And <laughs> you're going to be fine, my friend. Good job on that. Nice, nicely done, my friend. Okay. You use the power powder. To, I know. I didn't get that chance, Minion Bay. I didn't get that chance, man. You can see what I have here. This is what I had on my main level account and my other account. I only had a uh, a chance to get, uh, you know, the hero tokens. I can get I can get one for three million gold. So I was kind of bummed on that. We'll do that, and we'll do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't get that. I was hoping to get that because I would really have loved that, guys. So. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Yep, the rejects name Smith. Okay. Um Which one uh noisy boy you, you said rejects Minion Bay made a resource reward 48 and kept it and then made a PS 69 seconds, but I salvage it for seven more power powder. Oh, okay. Well, if you're not hurting for um, if you're not hurting for power stones, that's fine. Um, but there'll always be more minion bay. Don't worry. You said the rejects. Mamir eight thousand. What's up? The rejects. Okay. Well, let me put put that in because I don't. Did you have that? Maybe you did. Maybe I'm just silly and I didn't uh, see it. The rejects. Which one is it, my friend? Probably the twelve out of fifty. Let me know. Hurry up. I gotta get going, noisy boy. I got to get going, my friend. Mimir8000, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, my good friend. Thank you so much. 25, man. Uh, 4 out of 25? Is it this one? No. Um, how about this one? The rejects right here? You said your name was Mr. Smith? Right here? Is this you, Mr. Noisy Boy? Thank you so much, Mimir8000, for stopping by. It's always good seeing you, man. Thank you very much. There we go. Let's go visit you. I got to do my last base review, guys, here. Then I got to bail. I got to bail. Otherwise, I'm going to be Mr. Grinch. All right. 40%. Nicely done there, man. 17, 16, 16, 15, 15. Beautiful job. You are swimming in the GBE, noisy boy. Uh, keep chugging out those dark guardians and masterpiece. Get those perfect statues, okay? Troop damage 9, troop damage 11, not super duper bad for your level, my friend. 32 troop damage, beautiful, and a troop health 27. Continue chugging those uh, statues out and don't ever give up. Going over to your boat, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, yes, beautiful. Going for the warriors, take advantage of that warrior tribal boost, my friend. And looking at your base now, let's take a gander here. You got a rocket here. Not a bad position there. Rocket over there. Covering for the defenses over here. Nicely done. And a rocket here. Kind of being as a like a last resort if these ones get taken out. So nicely done there. You got your hot pot right there. I'd almost, if I were, were not going to lie to you, would put swap your hot pot with your flamethrower here. That's going to do a lot more damage to a warrior rush than your flamethrower. Okay, so I would actually put this bad boy right over here and swap it out. Do whatever you want to do. And if you really want this flamethrower to be in reach of your HQ, swap it for this mortar. Um, because, or yeah, swap it for this mortar because it'll still get the HQ. And this mortar has a great range to cover your HQ as well. So I would swap that. Get a little bit more value out of your your um, your uh, hot pot too, my friend. Other than that, your boom cannons are nicely spaced. Can't be shocked together when there's tanks. That's a good thing. Your shock launcher is getting worked on here, going to level four. Congratulations. And you got another shock launcher right there. That's a good place for the shock launcher, my friend, because as the troops get closer to your HQ, it's going to come into range and it's going to stun them for a short time being. And that'll be good for your hot pot to fry them or um, your boom cannons to fry the tanks. And then you got also a grappler three. Beautiful job here. Um, the grappler three has a very wide range. I'd actually seriously, now you're, I see why you're doing this because you want the grappler to grab the tanks in front of all your boom cannons and that's great. That's super duper great. Um, 
Yeah, that, that's fine. I will leave it. It looks good, man. It looks super duper good. I like your base setup. I like how your mines are all strewn out right over here on the left side because you know warriors are going to come that way um, and heavy zooka and what have you. But I like it. I like your base setup, man. Um, I like how you have a machine gun right here um, to make sure that if there's warriors, they got to smoke right away. Otherwise, they'll be giving me a machine gun to death. <laughs> so nice job, noisy boy. Beautiful job. Jorge Flores, George, my good friend, Merry Christmas to you, man. Hope you're doing okay. Um, <laughs> I'll see you at work, man. <laughs> By the way, so you know my email is the same as YouTube. Yes, I do, Cunny Noak. Thank you so much, my good friend. Thank you so much. I have a word with Leo and send me a, send me a mini to more beer TF. Love a chat. Thank you for the stream. Mrs. Doyle, one time stop in our stop in the baboon family. We'd love to we love to have you join us again. <laughs> um, and I have 13 dark crystals left. Nice job, minion bait. George Flores, thanks so much for coming out, man, and tuning in. I'm leaving. I gotta go to my family's house soon. My wife's probably gonna give me the a swat on the hand or the wrist if I don't get going because it's been five minutes, you guys. It's been five minutes. So that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you so much. You guys all have a Merry Christmas. Uh, happy New Year. I'm sure I'll be streaming again before the New Year comes into play. But uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much. You be good too, Noisy Boy. Um, you guys are awesome. Stay cool. Stay awesome. And have a very Merry Christmas to all. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming out on a busy, busy weekend to check it, check it out. Great stream again. Thank you, Milan. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.